If you're having trouble with a fill tool and you want to push a wall, the very first thing you want to do is to always begin at the highest layer. So you can see in this drawing, I've got three layers that are composed of this floor plan sketch. If I were to start pushing, I would build a layer on the very top that you can see here. And this layer, you don't want to activate it like this I have in here. When you activate the layer, it's going to highlight it in yellow. What this means is it's only going to use this layer to recognize the lines to pochet a wall. So you don't want to do that. Make sure you deactivate your layer on the very top. And now what it's going to do is it's going to take all the layers below this layer as a reference to recognize the walls, the lines to pochet into. And the next thing I want you to consider is turning the opacity all the way down to zero. So that's the paper opacity. You're still going to have this layer on top. It's just the paper opacity is turned down to zero. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on here. We're going to activate our area calculation tool, which is also the poche tool. We're going to zoom in a little bit more. And then we're going to click on a region like this. As you can see right now, this is spilling over. So I think what's happening here is my tolerance is set to way high. We're going to use a slider to bring down the tolerance down a little bit until it starts to recognize the area inside the walls that we want to fill. If you turn this all the way down to the other end of the spectrum, what you're going to notice here is there's you're going to have some bits of white edges around the inside of the wall, which is not what you want. You want to get it to a place where the walls are mostly folding before they start to bleed out like this. So there is a pretty good medium where it really depends on if you're drawing. So I'm at about 70% for you. This might be another percentage. So I do want you to just play around with this tolerance slider to get that perfect place. So if you are at this point where you're seeing the inside of your walls are already filled in, we can simply click out of this and add a color by using the fill bucket. If you have an opening in the wall like I do here, as you're seeing, the line is not perfectly close. This is going to be trouble. So I'm going to demonstrate the same way that I push this upper side by activating the air calculation tool and I'm going to hover my center of this mouth. And then you can see in here, because there is an opening right there, the lines or the color are going to spill outwards. This really doesn't matter if you play with a tolerance. Sometimes if you have a tiny opening, you might get away with the tolerance. But in this case, what you really want to do is to inspect your line work before you do the poche. If you realize something is spilling out, there must be a unclosed line. I'm going to single tap on this layer that the drawing is on, and then I am going to close this layer off. Now, if I attempt to do the same thing on the top layer, I'm going to deactivate this layer so it can recognize all the layers below it. If I use the same tool right here again and uh, make sure my tolerance is at a point where it is going to accept the inside of the wall. So in here, it is able to capture the enclosed area of the line weight. So as you can see, your very top layer, this is going to be the layer that has the fill, the poche of the wall in red. You don't need to do this on the same layer as the line weight as long as this layer is on the very top so it can recognize all the line work below. And as a tip, set your paper opacity all the way down so it doesn't interfere with this recognition. If you don't have a layer that's active like this, you are automatically going to be drawing on the very top layer. And this is what Morpholo Trace has on default. And it's actually a good feature in some way, but I do want you to keep in mind when you double tap on a layer, it is activating that layer to be drawn on. If you don't have it activated, it is automatically defaulting it to the very top layer. So I hope this is a good solution. If you are running into, you can't poche something or something is spilling out. These are the couple of steps to follow and consider in the future.